The Moon is uh, an excellent platform to test the new technologies. The Emirates Lunar Mission is the first mission by the Emirates to send a robot to another, then to the surface of another celestial body, and it will give us the opportunity to, to develop our capabilities in developing such technologies for future missions to the lunar surface as well as to the to Mars. The mission is uh, unique in terms of the fact that the rover, Rust rover, will explore a new area and a new location on the surface of the moon that was not uh, explored before. That will give us an opportunity to generate huge amount of very useful science data for the international science community to uh, study the lunar uh, surface to understand the uh, ge uh, geography and the uh, physical property of the uh, lunar surface. The Moon is uh, an excellent platform to test the new technologies and to do useful science since it is the, our closest uh, neighbor uh, compared to other uh, celestial bodies and compared to Mars. To develop a mission to, to the moon is much uh, more convenient than developing a mission to Mars and other celestial bodies. So in order to develop our capabilities, it's an excellent opportunity to use uh, the moon as uh, such platform. Now, the, the global exploration roadmap uh, that was published recent, recently emphasized on the fact that uh, all international efforts need to be focused on the moon to develop the moon as a gateway. The missions to Mars and other uh, planets should start from moon as a gateway uh, so that we can use the moon for uh, as a base station where we fuel, where we start our journey to the far, uh, to the outer space and to the to far uh, celestial bodies. Technologies, especially space uh, technologies, require a long time to be developed. And to test those technologies, it requires a lot of efforts and a lot of resources and money in order to test those technologies. So it is easier and more cost effective and efficient to test those technologies on the surface of the moon before uh, making sure that they are ready to be used on uh, missions for Mars and uh, uh, other uh, planets. So this is why the Mars Lunar Missions falls under the Mars 2117 uh, program, which states that uh, UAE has an ambitious plan to build a human settlement on the surface of Mars by uh, 2117. I'm uh, responsible for the communication subsystem that we have on uh, Rashid. So um, my daily task is about making sure that the design of uh, uh, those subsystems uh, work properly. Also, I'm uh, responsible. Also, okay. so also I'm part of uh, the science team, um, where we make sure that all the science instruments that we have on board Rashid um, can have like significant. Uh, output once we have Rashid on the board. In general, Rashid will answer many science questions that we have uh, on science, like the formation of the moon and uh, the moon itself as part of the solar uh, system. Uh, it will study the chemical and uh, uh, geology of uh, the lunar sand. Also, it will study, as Dr. Hamid mentioned, the electron sheet that we have on uh, top of the lunar surface. Besides, we will use, uh, we'll study the thermal environment on lunar surface. This has never been done before. Uh, all the inputs or uh, results that we have about the thermal environment uh, were taken from an orbiter. So this will be the first mission to study the thermal behavior of the rocks and sand uh, from very close uh, area. I'm responsible for uh, the ground uh, control system. So uh, anything related to uh, issuing commands and receiving uh, data from the rover will be handled by the software that we are uh, designing and developing uh, in, uh, in Muhammad Brush Space Center. So the main goal of this system is uh, to, to command the rover. Any command will be sent from Emirates Lunar Mission software, control software to the rover using this uh, system and um, the telemetry that we are going to receive 
and we'll analyze those telemetry uh, to to check the health of uh, that uh, of the rover uh, based on that uh, uh, software tool.